Andrew Hale and Stuart Matthewman of Sade are my guests in the studio. Um, I wanted to get into your individual roles. You know, what else you do as far as the writing and the composing and you know what I'm you know, there's just a lot that goes into being a band and you you are a band that have been together for, you know, the entire span of, you know, Sade and even of uh, the couple years that it was Pride uh, mm -hmm. before Sade. So you guys are super tight. I just wanted to talk about your individual contributions. You know, it's interesting. We all kind of have roles in the band and, and things that we do, but because each song is approached and, and starts and finishes in a completely different way, you know, Andrew may be doing bits of guitar sounds on a keyboard. I might do bits of keyboard things. We all kind of program. Sade kind of programs through us. She'll, she'll kind of do keyboards and, and work Pro Tools a bit. Um, um, and, you know, Paul's stylist, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's more interchangeable now. I think partly because of the, the methods that you used to record and also just because instrumentation and, you know, I mean, programming sounds like a weird word now. It used to actually have, mm -hmm. a, have a meaning, but I mean, it's just so implicit in everything that you do now. That and, you know, each time you finish a record and you put out a record, uh, is there, uh, let, let's say after Lovers Rock, was there, you know, well, we're going to wait this long before we consider, uh, you know, putting together a new album or recording a new album? I mean, how, how does that work? Because there, you know, obviously the consensus for the public is like, why, you know, how come it takes so long? And, you know, I've heard Sade talking about, yeah, people just, you know, when they see me on the street, like, when are you going to drop a new record? Everybody's always wanting to know when the next thing is. It's when yeah, it's we not, get around really, to it. It's not thought out. We don't have like kind of band meetings and say, oh, next year we're going to start. <laughs> it just kind of, we haven't been together for so long. We just thought we'd get together in the studio and just hang out. So we didn't really, we got together for a week and didn't hardly, we didn't really do that much music. We just kind of chatted and looked at YouTube clips and stuff. And then uh, started a couple of songs and then we gradually, you know, then we thought, oh, we'll come back to the studio. So we came back for a couple of weeks and took a few months off then came back and then it just kind of built you know, more and more time, and it wasn't until I think like our manager came down, the record company came down, and started saying about you know release dates that we're, about, we're actually doing an album. You know, actually, <laughs> we're actually doing this. So it's true, actually. I think it was someone from U2 said that you know it's, it's, it was a nice feeling that uh, you know albums never actually get finished; they just get released, and that's mm. kind of. A <laughs> that's I feel like you know we've Love been it. into. It. Well, guys, it's just it's a pleasure to uh, to have you in Los Angeles on the airwaves, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we'll look forward to a date in Los Angeles where you'll yeah. be, uh, you know, rocking the crowd once again. I remember uh, the last time, you know, thanks to uh, you guys, I got tickets to the Hollywood Bowl and was blown away. So, you know, hopefully, uh, <laughs> well, you're going to be playing the after show party, right? <laughs> hey, if you want me, just say the word. We just hey. did. <laughs> All right, it's done. It's a done deal. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you.